Waves in space and time, so-called gravitational waves, have been predicted by Einstein a hundred years ago. And their detection is the goal of the LIGO-FIRGO collaboration. This, uh, of course, uh, is a sign of how much uh, Einstein was a genius. This means that a whole new field of astronomy has been born. Which, according to me, will be the most important probe the man humanity has ever had to explore the universe. Maybe we'll be able uh, to understand better how the universe works. At the European Gravitational Observatory in Italy, Scientists are now upgrading the Virgo antenna so that it can join LIGO in observing the universe. What we don't know is how many of these sources are present in the universe. We need to look further in the universe, so um, let's say 10 times further. And this is why we are preparing this instrument and the new version, the advanced version of this instrument which means that you can uh, explore a volume of universe which is uh, uh, 1,000 times larger with respect to Virgo. So also the number of galaxies in this volume and the number of potential sources is uh, uh, 1,000 times uh, uh, bigger. It is a more than a job, more than a work. It is somehow a mission. This is not a common machine. The sensitivity that you need to achieve is amazing. To design these things means that you need to have a distorted imagination. There are only three of these uh, class in the world, and this is a, a privilege for the local area to have such a, such a big, uh, high-quality scientific instrument. Two blue arms mark the Tuscany landscape near Pisa. The arms, three kilometers each, are part of the Virgo interferometer. The effects of gravitational waves are so small that we need large facilities to detect them. Scientists have been searching for them for decades. And because of that, Virgo is having a huge upgrade. This gave us the opportunity to film inside. In this moment, we are assembling the system for the upgrading of Advanced Virgo. And this is a, a unique moment in which you can see the system as it is done, because usually it works closed and kept under vacuum. The super attenuator is a key component in detecting gravitational waves. This system isolates the mirrors from vibrations of the ground. The big mirrors, where you're trying to sense the gravitational waves, if they would move because of uh, vibrations on the ground, then clearly you cannot measure. It is based on the principle of uh, springs, a simple isolator uh, that we use on our cars. In our daily life, we all produce seismic disturbances, with our cars or airplanes, for instance. Noise that could interfere with gravitational waves we are trying to detect. We have uh, to fight against any sorts of noise that can come by the environment. Because Virgo is such a very delicate instrument, they want to detect, to hear such a, a whisper, a small whisper of the universe that we have to cancel all the local noise. To see the Big Bang, the only way is to make it through uh, gravitational waves. This is where we are going to sense uh, the gravitational wave itself. The main signal is coming out of the interferometer through that window, goes through these mirrors, and then hits these two boxes where we have photodiodes collecting the gravitational wave signal. Then it's translated to electronic signal going down under the electronic, which is down the bench, and then through optical fiber to computers and so on. Right now, we are the only ones that require such a level of technology. So there's all developed in-house uh, by a scientist. We have 19 laboratories from five countries. Italy and France, which were the founders of Virgo. 
uh, the Netherlands with Nikos, uh, uh, Hungary and Poland. Because we need a lot of different expertise from optics, mechanics, electronics, uh, plastic isolation and so on. We have to put them together in order to make a machine that works at the level of sensitivity required. So this is why we are dragging all the people all over Europe to try to make this uh, system. There, there is a little bit of pressure. The Americans are waiting for us to, to come online. The collaboration with LIGO is uh, so profound. We are acting uh, as a single experiment. Our uh, technical documentation is available for uh, the LIGO colleagues and also for the Japanese colleagues and the same happens uh, with LIGO technical documentation. There is a lot to gain from having a third detector working in the network. Wait that little to have the best instrument possible, not rush up.